A fuel oil distributor has 120,000 gallons of fuel with 0.9% sulfur content, which exceeds pollution control standards of 0.8% sulfur content. How many gallons of fuel with a 0.3% sulfur content must be added to the 120,000 gallons to obtain fuel that will comply with the pollution control standards? The first thing I like to do with any word problem is define the variable based on what is being asked. And in this problem, it's how many gallons of fuel. So I'm going to write that down right away. You can use any variable you want. I'll use x. x equals, or let x equal, the number of gallons that we're going to add. And more specifically, the number of gallons of the 0.3% sulfur fuel. And that, that is a very good idea to, to do, to define that variable so that you uh, know what you solved for at the end of the problem. All right, now with these mixture problems, we look at this as a total amount of, of whatever it is that we, uh, that we have in the solution. In this case, it's sulfur. So we have a a total amount. At the end of the problem, we're going to have some total amount of sulfur. So I'll write that down. The total sulfur. And that will equal the amount in the original. I'll write original sulfur. That's the, the amount of sulfur that was in the 120,000 gallons. And to that original sulfur, we're going to add some sulfur. And I know we're adding fuel, but you'll see in the equation why I'm uh, writing it like this in terms of sulfur for the mixture problems. All right, total sulfur. The total sulfur is going to be this 0.8%, because that's the standard that we're going to get to. Now, 0.8% as a decimal is 0 0.008. So 0 0.008 times the total amount of fuel. That's 120,000 gallons plus the amount that we are adding. So that's our total sulfur. 0 0.008, that's 0.8% as a decimal times or of the total amount of fuel. And that total amount of fuel is the 120,000 gallons that we already had plus the amount that we are adding. That is going to equal the original sulfur, and the original sulfur is 0.9% of the 120,000. So 0.9% as a decimal is 0 0.009. 0 0.009 times 120,000. That's the uh, original sulfur that we had. The added sulfur is the 0.3% of the added fuel. Remember, X is the number of gallons of, of the uh, added fuel. All right. Now we have our linear equation, and now we can start to solve this. And just to specify what is going in here again, I want to show you where these came from. Okay, solving this equation. We can run through this pretty briefly. Distribute this 0 0.008 to everything in the parentheses, and you get 960 plus 0 0.008x equals 1080 plus... 0.003x. Now we're going to uh, get all the variable terms on one side and all the, the constant terms on the other side. So just showing that real quickly, let's subtract 0.003x from each side. And I'll also subtract 960 from each side. So I'm getting the variable terms on the left-hand side and the constant terms 
on the right hand side and I get 0 0.005 x equals 120 divide each side by 0 0.005 and x equals 24,000 24,000 gallons and I'll write that out 24,000 gallons of the new fuel the 0.3 percent fuel and that is solving one of many mixture problems